Welcome back. All right. Here we are. Jazzwares. This is the a brawler legendary series brawler figure that just means it has a bigger price tag basically it's a he's a thicker boy you get more you get more of that scientist booty for your buck or dollar as culture people say all right so let's get in to dust video where do we even start? We can start with accessories. He comes with a good bit. He comes with uh, 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 six. All right, let me move him out of the way. Why don't we do that thing called looking at the box? Everyone's favorite part. All right, so here's the box. Let's um. <laughs> Information. He's seven inches. Nice. And six accessories, and it shows some stuff. And there's the back, and all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's kind of messed up. I actually got this for free, technically. But I do like the box design. It, it's maybe not the color scheme, but the, the graphic design is very Fortnite-esque. I dig it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I got this for free, actually. Because I like to do a lot of well, like academic surveys and political surveys, and a lot of times you can get money for them. So I got a bunch of, I got like a huge Amazon gift card for doing a couple of these ones about uh, stuff, and it's very much worth it. So I would definitely recommend if you like getting free stuff to do those. All right, why don't we look at his harvesting tool? Alright, so this is his harvesting tool. I'm going to be honest. I don't know the name of it. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Um, it is not his, like... He, he doesn't really have a harvesting tool. So they just gave him this one, which looks pretty cool. And as I was saying before, um, I find it a little unfortunate that it does not have his back bling. Because his back bling is actually pretty cool. I think it's one of the cooler ones. So I don't know why they didn't include it. He does come with a bunch of guns. By a bunch, I mean two. And you can see he comes with this LMG, you know, light machine gun. And it's pretty cool. It's not super accurate. These um legendary series figures take some liberties. But it still looks pretty good. And it's still very similar to like what it looks like in the game. I believe this handle is a lot different in the game. But here it is. It's mostly casted in one color. But, you know, that's fitting of the game. And no, I did not just move. No, my audio does not sound different. It would have been kind of cool if this part jiggled around a little bit. But it's not too bad. I don't really think you'd ever be posing it in a pose besides this. What I really like is the clip can come off. Which is pretty cool, so you can kind of have an unloading, or like a reloading pose, which I like uh, very much. See, it goes back. Pretty cool. There's a barrel. I like how it's hollowed out a little bit. Pretty cool. And then here we have the guided missile launcher. Whoa. Whoa. Which is one of the only weapons that's, like, not in the game. And there's no way you can... Like, you can't even use it in creative. But this is very cool. And it's pretty accurate. You know, this part isn't hollow or anything. But I honestly think that's fine. Because you're not going to be seeing it from that angle too much. And this is pretty cool because the trigger is actually a missile launcher. So you can pull the trigger and it'll fire. It's pretty weak sauce, the missile. Honestly, it does not go super far. Like, if we shoot it directly up in the air. I mean, that's fine, honestly, I guess. Like, it's about as good as, like, a Lego flick fire missile, I would say. But it's pretty cool. It has the sight. Very awesome. And we have a bunch of alternate faces for him. It's not all of his alternate faces. It's all but one. And the one he's missing is, like, pretty boring. It's basically just... I don't even know. It's basically this one without the smiley face. 
which is really weird. Um, but it's just like two orange lines, basically. You can see this is the first one, and it's just it's a smiley face. Pretty funny. You have this one, which is kind of more aggressive looking. It's kind of unclear if this guy is like a robot or an alien. I believe he is an alien, but he could be an alien robot. No one, no one knows. Very mysterious. And here's kind of the default one, which is I don't know, more like a targeting system, kind of. And that one's pretty detailed. There's some like alien. Come on, focus. Random, random stuff on there. All right, now why don't we look at the figure? Here he is, and he is a very thick boy. Let's see if we can kind of get him standing up straight. I don't know. I've never had this issue. Why is he not standing? That's so bizarre. All right, there we go. What the heck? Why is he not standing? I've never had this issue. So bizarre. All right. Real quick, why don't we do dust size comparison? Wow. So there's good old Wa Luigi next to him. Bro, why is he falling over? Gravity hurts as 2008 kids know. Alright. That should be a bit better. So, yeah. He's kind of leaning backwards. I don't know what's going on with that. There we go. Much better. You know, your boy Waluigi. Rough, rough size comparison for you. And oh boy, is this guy articulated. He has 36 points of articulation. And I feel like most of those are pretty well optimized. Because stuff like his pauldrons don't really get in the way. Some of his ankle and neck movement is a little compromised, but why don't we look at that? So starting from the bottom, we have, he has this very bizarre toe swivel. That's pretty good. It looks a little bizarre, <laughs> but I think it looks pretty cool. And he doesn't actually have that much more usable in the foot. There's a swivel there, so it can swivel back and forth. But as you can see, it's not super great. I gotta move my lights a little bit. Maybe that's better. And his knees are the double jointed knees, which is pretty nice. So you can get ooh, a pretty tight bend in there. Not like super duper tight. It's only really gonna be about 90 degrees. But I still think it's really good. Man, it's hot today. It's really warm today, by the way. It's getting very warm lately in my area. And he has these very interesting thigh swivels. Which can be useful. And then, you know, thighs. And go forward a little bit. So you can awkwardly sit down. He actually cannot really sit down all the way at like a 90 degree angle maybe if he does that <laughs> and then it cannot go back at all because of his super thick booty and then he can get the thigh splay let me kind of move everything out of the way that's pretty good so you know you can I mean that's an awkward pose but you can get some some karate kicks in there if you would like and the joints feel pretty good. I like the McFarlane figures, but when you move the joints, it feels like you're gonna like break something. It's like, but these are very smooth. And I don't think they're gonna be too loose. I've not heard anything. There's a lot of ratchets in there, good amount. And he has a waist swivel, which is useful, but looks pretty weird, honestly. Because it just like cuts these pretty clean lines and he has a little bit of a bicep, just kind of ball joint, but barely usable. And head can just go back and forth. Oh, yeah. 
And then his arms are pretty good, honestly. I think they're the best part because these pauldrons are actually on rubber pieces so they can flex out of the way. So you can go super far up, swivel both ways, and then, you know, you can T-pose on the haters. This one's a little bit more aggressive. This is pauldron, but there you go. He can T-pose. I would not recommend keeping him in that pose because he'll probably bend things. And then all sorts of nice stuff here. You got an elbow swivel, and then a hinge, and then a hand swivel, and a hinge, which is not super useful. But then you got articulated fingers, and they're not independent of each other. It's just one joint, kind of like Starscream from Transformers Animated, but still pretty cool. And that's about it for articulation. He is pretty detailed. Some of his colors are not super accurate to the game. Like these kind of gold looking pieces are a little bit more of like this greenish gunmetal gray. But I think it looks fine, honestly. It's not too bad and it makes him a little, more, a little bit more vibrant. You can see he has lots of cool red stuff going through him. He has lots of this kind of like spaceman motif throughout very cool man very mechanical looking he has this pretty cool wire which is pretty clean and it's not gonna break too easily and there's his other face let me kind of move the camera up a little bit that's a bit better I had some issues there and it's actually kind of difficult to change his face because you can see it's a pretty tight squeeze there and there's not like a release button so there's a little bit of a gap right there and you're gonna have to get your fingernail or something under there which is gonna be pretty scary because you don't want to like chip his face um i've not really found maybe from the top is also pretty good i don't know you don't want to mess anything up so you gotta kind of have to attack it and that's pretty creepy. You know, we can give him a smiley face if we would like. Pretty funny. And in the game, he's in kind of this weird crouching pose because he's so much taller than everyone else. And you can kind of get him into that. It would be nice if his head could, if he could look up a little bit more. But he's kind of in that pose. So you can kind of get him into the pose from the game. He's kind of in this sort of pose where he's just looking very aggressive. Pretty awesome figure all around. And biggest complaint about this toy line, from what I've heard from people, let's move stuff out of the way, is issues gripping the accessories. And it's maybe just his fingers, but I think it's not too big of an issue. Um, you can see you can grip the harvesting tool very easily. And you can grip the light machine gun. The LMG is probably the most difficult thing for him to grip. Honestly, just because the there's not really a trigger. As you can see, that's a pretty loose fit. But you can definitely get him holding it. It's pretty easy to get him to hold it from this handle. So I feel like it's honestly not too bad. A lot of people have complained about it, like a lot. I must say the guided missile launcher is especially, especially cool because he can line up and, you know, shoot and pull the trigger, which I think is very cool. So all around, I think it's a pretty awesome figure. Yeah, didn't really mention this huge blade on the side, which is pretty cool and it does not hinder articulation all that much. So that was my review of the... Jazzwares Brawler Legendary Series Scientist. I think he's super cool. He does retail for $25. And he's actually pretty rare from what I've seen. I believe this was the last one in stock on Amazon. I could be wrong. 
I got this from Amazon. I'm not endorsing Amazon. All right, guys, not a big fan of Amazon. Gonna be honest, but when I can get stuff for free, I will. Um, so I think he's a very cool figure. Lots of articulation. I think a good amount of our of useful articulation. And again, I, I find it weird how his uh, back bling is shown there, but you actually, it's, it's not included. I find that to be a little bizarre, honestly. I think he should have had it. He does retail, as I mentioned, for $25, which I feel like is not too bad. He does come with a lot of accessories, so that's pretty cool. But, I don't know, it, it, it sometimes feels a little steep. I don't know. It's about the price of the McFarlane figures, but it comes with more accessories, so I think it's a good price. Um, I would recommend them. I think he's one of the more accurate figures, because some of these figures are, like, super kind of inaccurate. But this one is pretty accurate, pretty fun, pretty durable so far. I mean, I've not played with it. But just from goofing around, you can kind of tell, you know, the durability of something. And it feels pretty strong, so I think it would also make a good, like, toy. So I would definitely recommend him. He's pretty cool. That's all I have to say.